Can I taste your juice? Hey, folks, P. Bissardo and I am exhausted. I'm exhausted. Um, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I literally just got off a plane about two hours ago. Uh, I had the, uh, the Paris event, then I had a little uh, mini vacation. Uh, now I am home from that vacation, and I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, so I wanted to put something out for you. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a review video, uh, because I did want to cover the, uh, the Paris event uh, at least a little bit. Uh, Daniel did a really good job. Daniel, DJ... LSD, DJ LED, DJ LSB. Um, he did a really good job, uh, and we're going to talk about uh, what uh, what we did uh, with him a little bit later on. But um, a little bit on the uh, on the Paris event. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and, and I wanted to get this out today because tomorrow morning at like six o'clock in the morning, I'm driving out to uh, to Evolve to to finally uh, bring to you that video. And kind of show you guys around uh, the, the the facility, the way the facility is today, compared to the way the facility uh, was the first time I visited them. And uh, if you are interested in that video, it will be in the description of this video right here. Okay. All right. So this is going to be one of those videos where I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to wing this one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to freestyle. I'm going to freestyle this video. Freak. Freak, freak. Just chill to the next episode. Um, and just kind of like talk a little bit and then bring you some video of the event. And that event being the VOP Expo 2017 in Paris, uh, France. Okay. Uh, it, it's one of those events that I really, really enjoy going back to. It is a very well run event. Uh, it is a very professional, uh, professionally done event. Uh, Dimitri and I did not speak at this uh, one, but they have like this this sunken area right in the middle of the event where they have uh, talks and they have different speakers and they do different kinds of presentations. Uh, really, really well done. Really, really well done. Um, but you know, like I said, I'm I'm not bringing you a review in this video, but the the, the device that I have been uh, being out or currently being asked about the most right now is without a doubt the uh, the K Fund Prime. A lot of people are, are waiting on me to review that. Um, I've been using it. I'm ready to go on the review. It's just a matter of when can I get to it, okay? So what I thought I would do is kick off this video right here with an interview uh, with Flo from Svomesto, okay? Now... I really like Flo. I really, really do. Um, Flo is from Germany. He's uh, just one of those guys where I enjoy hanging out with him. I enjoy drinking with him. I enjoy, enjoy talking with him, and I enjoy uh, busting balls with him. He's one of those guys where if he lived uh, closer uh, and, like, he was right down the block, uh, we would hang out. Okay? Just one of those guys, right? So, um, Dimitri and I had a little bit of fun with Flo, and we kind of tag-teamed him in an interview uh, to talk about the K Fund Prime and the other K Fund that's coming out, and I really kind of I've been I've been kind of taking jabs at him, uh, trying to get him to admit that the the K Fund Five was a mistake. And and don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong with that statement, right? Um, I I like the fact that they are kind of going in two different directions with the K Fund, uh, and the K Fund Five Five uh, being a little bit more kind of focused on maybe restricted direct lung or or kind of direct lung because it was the first k fund that we got where we had to buy a part to get a, a good mouth to lung right and so i although i like that direction the thing that i disagreed with was calling it a k fund calling it you know like the the the, the two and the three and the four and then all of a sudden there was the five and we didn't get a good mouth to lung vape from it um, now that we have the K Fund uh, Prime, okay, I can tell you we are back to a good, solid K Fund mouth to lung vape um, without the need for any kind of, you know, um, uh, reducers or anything like that. So um, let's go ahead and do that interview. Let's do that interview with Flo. That's how we'll kick off this video uh, an interview with Flo on the K Fund Prime from Svomesto. Oh, and by the way, I promised Flo um, in, in this video, I would call, I would call this, actually, I didn't promise him anything because he says, you know, he, he when he talks to Americans, he just calls it the K-Fun. But the actual name of it is much like the Typhoon that we have. This is actually a Kaifoon. That is the, the proper pronunciation of this atomizer. It's sitting on a top hat right now. Um, but that is the, the correct pronunciation. He said, he said, when I say it, 
It sounds very sexy, right? So I will call it the Kaifoon from this point on. Flo, you are looking sexy as ever, my friend. How are you? I'm, I'm pretty good, how are you? We didn't drink at all together at this uh, show. No, not no. yet. Not yet. We got That's one night left. We got That's one a good thing, because every time you two get together, uh, the train bad, wreck ensues. Bad things happen, right? But uh, obviously the big hype, uh, the K-Fun Prime, um, something that we've all been anticipating since me and you, Phil, saw it in Stuttgart, Stuttgart. Germany, uh, with Eugene. And uh, obviously, I have been vaping it since I got it about a week ago. And uh, people always ask me, uh, especially before the reviews have come out, what do you think of the K-Fun Prime? And me and Phil have been fanatics of this atomizer since it came out. We've been using it for a very long time. And it's whatever you would expect from a K-Fun. It vapes like a K-Fun. And it's good to see that on this particular product that you guys decided to go back to what you're really good at, and that is mimicking the smoking sensation with a true mouth-lung atomizer with yeah. the added features that we've always wanted, the juice flow and the airflow at the same time. So what was the thinking behind the Prime? The, the thinking behind the Prime was not necessarily to reinvent the wheel, but more to expand the range of product that we are offering, because when we release the K5, we thought we had a solid middle in the road product that more or less does it all, but it didn't do the specifics uh, that many people required. And we see that there are many people requesting a true mouth to lung experience. And on the other hand, there are still people who are not satisfied with the airflow on the K5 for the for the other direction for, for direct line inhales. So that's why we kind of branched out in both directions, uh, primarily now with the K5 Prime having a true true mouth-lung type of, of atomizer um, that does specifically only that and nothing else. It doesn't doesn't want to be uh, anything else but a mouth-lung device. So let's talk a little bit about the changes that you've done on the particular prime. Oh, we're gonna tag we're you? Okay, okay. Ta okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So let me ask you a question, seriously, all right? Do you think that you may be alienated a percentage of your customers by coming out with the five the way it was, right? Because I mean, people know K-Fun as one specific thing, right? And you kind of took the K-Fun 5 in a little bit of a different direction, right? So, I mean, is the prime you like making that solid K-Fun again and then taking the other atomizer in a different direction? I mean, do you think that that happened a little bit with the five? Well, see, that's probably the case. However, um, we are always very closely listening to our audiences, and we are listening to what they what they want from the next product. So, and what we heard the most is after the K4 is one, it's too complicated, and two, uh, it doesn't have enough airflow. Still. You can argue with that, or you can just accept it. Sure. So um, that was the, the 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 main concern that we got from our audience. Uh, if you may remember, the um, the K4 had the 4S kit that extended the airflow a little bit, right. and we saw pretty much 50% of all K4s sold were sold with a 4S kit. Really. So. Basically, you, kind of, you, you kind yeah. of have both demographics, yeah. uh, and now you're trying to make product that kind of suits both demographics, right? right? So, so I think that's the problem with vaping is that there's so many different ways to yes. do it. You can't yes. make everybody happy with one single thing. Exactly. So maybe it was time to come out with two that, things. That's a, that's a conclusion we came to. Right. Uh, our conclusion was there is no one fits all solution. The vapors are diverse; they have diverse requirements, and we want to meet them um, as good as we can. Okay. Back in here, All right? Sit right here. So well, one thing that I, I do want to <laughs> add is, you know, for people for uh, the MTL vape like me and Phil, and I think hundreds or thousands of people out there, even though you don't see them a lot, because MTLers don't like to make cloud videos, right? But for us, it's very, very simple. We want great flavor, we want a great throat hit, and we want ease of feeling, and maybe some slight adjustability on airflow, maybe a tighter MTL or an area uh, MTL. That's what the K-Fun Prime gives you, in my opinion. As far as the vape's concerned, it's what you would expect to get from a K-Fun style build atomizer, yeah, correct? Yeah, thank you, thank 
Yeah. Basically, oh. if you love the Mini V3, you're going to love the Prime. Which is my favorite rebuildable atomizer, and I've said it for a very long time, the K1 V3 is obviously the capacity was a drawback for me before because it's small, you have to refill it a lot, and you don't have any, even though the airflow is perfect for my style of vaping, I can understand for other MTLers that would like to have that adjustability. Well, the, the, the feedback that I've gotten uh, so far from the customers we had is that it's very comparable to the K1 Lite Plus in terms of performance. So if you have been a fan of the K1 Lite Plus, the K1 Prime may be the, the right thing for you. Yes. Um, with the difference that it's way easier to handle and to, to maintain. Yeah. So, so we did see a couple of changes with the deck and the way that the airflow yeah. comes in. Talk a little bit about the, those changes. But, but, um, let's, let's be honest here. Um, the deck of the Mini is very similar in size uh, to the Capon Light Plus, and the, the deck of the Prime is very similar um, to the um, to the uh, Mini. So if you will, the Prime is more or less the love child of the Mini and uh, the Capon 5 when we talk about functionality, uh, with the difference that we have tweaked a few things here and there to optimize it even further for yeah. masculine uh, type of vaping. If you want to, and the way that the airflow hits, yeah, we'd like to see that. So, the first thing when you open up the build deck, I mean, if you're familiar with the KFN5, then you know how to handle this product because the AFC and everything, we will be coming to that in a little bit, is, is pretty much the same way. So, the build deck obviously is a little bit smaller and so is the evaporation chamber. So, it's truly made for the typical mouth to lung type of, of build deck, which is a regular micro coil, easy to make. You put your cotton in the pockets here and that's about it. Yep. And then what we changed with the airflow is we now have a, have a slit instead of just a hole. And what that does, I can actually show you because I have a, a picture of, of that. Um, it distributes the air over the coil a little bit more evenly. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. So and what that does, it's just, it's just a, a, a very small detail, but what you usually would get is you would get a little bit more heat on the edges of the coil than in the middle, because in the middle is where the most mm -hmm. air cooling yeah. uh, happens. And, um, and this slightly decreases the flavor, right. because the hotter it gets, the less flavor you get. Right. You want to get a very even uh, temperature. Distribution over of the, the air over the coal. Exactly. And I think that's, exactly. that's absolutely, yeah, that's absolutely exactly. true. Yeah. So th this is why we, why we did that, and we found that that actually, if you're, improves. if you're experienced, then you can certainly notice that. Yeah. So that is that. Then the liquid control. Um, same as the five. Same as the five. Yep. And the three. Yeah, the same thing. So now I can show you on this unit because the O-rings are dry and everybody knows dry yeah. O-rings they, yeah. they don't slide well. But it's the same thing with the five. You twist the tank clockwise like you would with a water bottle yep. when you wanted to close it. And at one point it stops. And when it stops, then you can open up the top and fill it like so. Yep. And the top has been changed as well too, Flo. Talk a little bit about the changes that you made on the uh, the filling. Well, the top, this this uh, angled bevel here, um, originally comes from the K5. So what this is pretty obvious, if you have some drops of e-liquid that you spill along the sides, you want it to, to, to rinse down into the tank and not spill out on the side. Uh, that's what we've been working for since the KFN Mini, pretty much. Yeah. And, and I think, if I'm not uh, mistaken, the KFN 3 has two slots to fill. This has three slots to fill. Is that correct? Yeah, but this is more or less. It's larger. Just, you got more room. You got a little bit more room, yeah. yes, but they both work pretty much, pretty much the same. Okay. Um, so what we also have, like with the KFN 5 and the Mini, is we have these little um, slots here yep. in the in the threading, which prevent pressure buildup in the tank when you're closing the system, you can uh, let the air escape until the O-ring seals, and therefore you don't get any gurgling or leaking when you fill up the device. And what's new with the Prime is um, we have machined uh, an air pocket in the tub because we had a, a few customers who uh, overfilled the device and then you didn't have any room for the for the actual top cap. And the liquid so out. once you screw it down, um, it tended to, to squeeze out on yeah. the sides. Now you have a little bit more room where the e-liquid can go and stay inside the tank instead of coming out on the sides. Talking uh, about the AFC, 
The KFON 4 had, uh, uh, KFON 5 had four different settings. This one has six. Starts all the way down at one mil, which is a really, really restrictive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, type of draw, very cigarette-like. And then it goes in 0.2 mil increments all the way up to, to two mil. So two one, mil. Okay. Yeah, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, and then two mil. Got it. Which is still a little bit tighter than the mini it used to be. The mini used to be 2.2. Um, right. So as I said, this is not reinventing the wheel. This is not like a groundbreaking revolution, a new invention. This is just a true mouth to lung K fun as you like it. The, 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 the prime K fun experience there is the, the, the play of words. It's, it's prime, it's original, the original K fun experience, but also premium experience brought to the modern day and age with all the, the, the new modern features that the uh, current K fun products offer. But this is not the only product that you guys have into your lineup, so talk about the other stuff that you're releasing as well, too. Yeah, as I, as I said, what, what we did is uh, we expanded the range of products. Um, maybe one more thing about the, the Prime uh, before we come to the, the, the two other products. Uh, what we do offer uh, for all countries who don't have a, the, the two mil uh, capacity restriction is a tank extension that works very similar to the tank extension you may recognize from the k 4. So what you have is you have a little piece that screws on the chimney. Extends the chimney. Extends the chimney, exactly. And you can slide in a, a, a different glass. A, a, you know, it's a different glass. And this is actually the KFON 5 glass. So the, the moment you got the extension on the Prime, you have a downward com compatibility um, with all the KFON 5 tanks. So the, the bulgy one or whatever you prefer, if you still mm -hmm. have something at home yeah. uh, that you bought one day, you can use that on the KFON Prime with the extension. Okay. And What's the regular... The What's the capacity on the regular ca regular capacity? As I said, is two mil, no. and with the extension, it's four point five. Four point five. Okay. So for those who have a who are a little bit more um, liquid hungry, that would be it. All right. So what else do we got? So then, of course, everybody uh, recognizes the KFN five. Yep. KFN five is pretty much one step further to the uh, more airy kind of vaping. Mm -hmm. That's actually what I prefer. I'm somewhere in the middle of the road. Not really a cloud chaser, not really a mouth to lung vapor either. I'm switching back and forth a little bit. So um, you already know this product. It works pretty much the same. Um, has a bit of a larger evaporation chamber um, and a bit of a larger build deck. Um, pretty much made for a little bit larger builds. Right. Yes. Not like the, the crazy uh, uh, stereo. Alien stable, and, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, 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 gotcha. gotcha. You, you name it. It's just something around whatever 0 0.6, 0 0.5 ohms, yes. and I think, and, and that's I the think way that I like to sub ohm too. I mean, I sub ohm sometimes, and that's where I like to be. I like to be like 0 0.5 around 30 watts. It gives me a nice good flavor. Yeah. It's not overpowering, and it's not too much of a vapor as well too. Yes. But I like yes. to vape that, yeah. that way sometimes. Yes, too. yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I think the, you can define it best by by wattage range. And when we're talking about the prime, we are talking about from 8 watts to Maximum, I would say 25, but yeah. that already gets pretty warm. Sure. And then, and then the K Fun 5 is more for the guys who are like 15 watts to 35, somewhere yeah. around, uh, around these lines. And you can see where I'm running my uh, my K Fun. You know, oh my 16 God, watts, 16 watts. Yeah, powerful. Is your battery with, capable? With yeah, 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 all day, all day, that? all day. All right, hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Here. Now we're we're about to show the. Uh, is this is this the next one? Put this back. Because I know how you guys are. Okay, are we allowed to show this now? <laughs> I just want to make sure because I, yeah, I want to make sure that we're allowed to show this. Are we allowed to show this? Only today. <laughs> All right, All right, go ahead. <laughs> Because I don't want I don't want Dimitri to get in trouble again. Yeah, I know people like the vape police came after me when I posted, when you posted those of photos. And I was like, Jesus. Because Christ. I mean, I, 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 I was like, look when when Flo tells me it wasn't me. I, I know it was you. I know it was you. Absolutely not you. Police right. and I thought that my vape passport was going to be like removed right. or something like that. I wouldn't right. be able to come. But well, uh, let's talk about this product. So this product, see. It's still a little bit under the blanket, and, okay. and we don't really make a big deal out of this because um, all it is is a larger K Fun 5. Okay. So it's a K Fun 5, everything is larger. We have a 25 mil diameter on this one. Um, we have around six to six and a half mils of capacity. And um, let me get this out. 
At this one, we have a, a, a three-way uh, adjustability on the airflow control. We have three mil, three and a half, and four mil, so that will be wide open. And this is targeted towards the, the, the direct the real lung, direct direct lung uh, vapor. Open it up all the way right now. I just want, I'm curious. About the deck? No, 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 no. Open up the airflow all the way. It's, uh, it's, is, it, is it open all the way? It's open all the way. Can I? Can I? Yeah, okay. sure. Go ahead. That's that's uh, that's uh, increases the value, but you can sell that on Vape Trader tomorrow for like an extra hundred dollars. Okay, so it, it'll be sort of DNA on. Okay, it. so it's I would say it's still it's still restricted. It's yeah. Not, it's not a wide open drip. It's, it's still restricted. It's, yes. It's four mil. It's it's certainly not a dripper. It's still a tank system. Right. Right. Um, but that gives you plenty of capability to put on your your uh, Clapton coils or whatever you like. What its range we are talking about. Well, we have tested it until 65 to 70 watts. This is where, it, for our personal taste, got a little bit warm, but we are not the most experienced builders, and I'm sure there are people out there who will make something crazy with that and um, put, put on something really, really extreme. It gives you plenty of space. The, the build deck is even larger. The, of course, the liquid channels are larger. Airflow is larger. You also have, like with the Prime, you have that slotted airflow to give mm -hmm. you a better air distribution. You have a larger chamber as well, so you have more space towards the, the top to fit in your your coil, whatever that will be. And the rest is pretty much the same as with the yeah. k 5. What is this called? Bill? This is called the k 5 squared. 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 Yeah. yeah, because 5 squared, it's 25. 25, yes, uh, gotcha. That's pretty, very smart. Pretty, pretty yeah, smart, them, huh? Them, them Germans are pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, they're good engineers, and they really are. Math. Uh, so, <laughs> speaking about math, let's talk about some pricing, right? Let's, let's go through the line and see what pricing. these are going to cost. Pricing, yes. pricing is easy. They're all uh, very similar uh, in terms of production costs and machining, so they all cost the same. Okay. Because uh, we don't believe, believe in pricing something higher just because it's new. Okay. Um, so they are all retailing at 119 euros. 100 in the EU, and it usually translates to the same amount in dollars. Okay. Okay. About 120 bucks. 120 bucks. 120 bucks. Yeah. So, K fund for everyone, and just simply have to know what kind of vapor you are, what you prefer, what you want to do with it. Did you catch that, by the way? That's very, very smart. K fund for everyone. K fun for everyone. Oh, it rhymes. Oh, good. Maybe you should be their marketing director. No, right? no, he's the one who came up with it. I, I, haven't, I haven't even thought, that, <laughs> thought about that. See, that yeah, I'll send you my PayPal so you can uh, uh, make sure you con compensate me for that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, anything that you want to add on the, the K-Fund? Um, one thing I've been talking about yesterday about evaporation chamber size, because there's still this belief out there that a small chamber automatically gives you a good flavor and a large chamber gives you a bad flavor or whatever. That is not necessarily true, because it's really dependent on a, what kind of vaping of course. are you doing? Are you doing mouth to lung vaping or are you doing cloud chasing? Um, and what kind of build do you have in there? I mean, um, let's be honest, the build is a huge contribution whether or not you have a good or bad experience. Sure. We're just we're just delivering the platform. So I don't each, think each and every of these kythons um, is specifically tweaked towards the range we've been talking about, but the wattage range and the, the typical builds that you would put in there. So, and, and therefore you get a good flavor experience with, with all of these in their certain fields. It's just, it's a little bit different because a mouth-to-lung device never tastes the same, or let's say the same juice in a mouth-to-lung device doesn't taste the same like in a, a sub-only device. Correct. Right. But we've always always been about flavor and uh, this is what we use, this is what we have this product made about. Yeah. So the last question that I have is distribution and where people can get it and uh, I know in the EU it's a little bit uh, easier um, I actually wanted to buy some from here they sold out at the show which is kind of expected but uh, especially for the people in the US where the majority of the people are gonna watch this video where is this product gonna be available for them to purchase oh, um, we actually have made a Facebook post um, where we list all the vendors that are currently carrying the prime and they usually carry the other products as well so I would invite you to just go to slowmesto.de and uh, click either on the on the page of the prime click on the blog or directly on the landing page it's the first post currently on there and it says where to get a cave on prime you click on there and you find a list with all the countries um, and at the very bottom you have the USA it's alphabetically all but that's because we have Trump that's why right that's yeah. why you put us in the end okay hold on let me come back here so 
Now, because I listened, right, and, and you know, I didn't put out the review because I, I would usually wait until you guys let me know, okay? Uh, so now uh, that it's time to put the review out, I start getting the Facebook messages from Flo. Uh, when's the review coming out? When's the review coming out? When's the review? I was just curious. So, um, but you know, the point is now I'm traveling, okay? But a lot of people are asking me about the K Fun Prime, okay? So I, can, I will say this here because I've used the K Fun Prime, I've tried it, I've experienced it. If you are one of those folks who felt a, maybe a little bit betrayed by the K-Fun 5, okay, the K-Fun Prime comes back to that real kind of smoking, what you what you have come to expect from the K-Fun 4 back in an easier to use format. So even before the review comes out, I can tell you that if you love that kind of K-Fun vape, you're gonna get it from the Prime. Of course, I'm gonna say the same thing in my video as well. But like I said, for those of you maybe who felt a little bit betrayed by the 5, you got it back with the Prime, okay? It's Sounds good. Me. All right, buddy. Also, we wanted to relay our uh, thank you to Eugene. When we met him at Stuttgart, he was uh, amazing, very humble, and it was really, really a pleasure and an honor for us to meet uh, somebody that has made these atomizers that we've been enjoying for the last five, six Absolutely. years. Absolutely. I mean, K-Fun's a huge name. And and still, now, is it Kai-Fun or Kai-Fun? Well, what's, when, the, what's when, the right way to say it? Tell it, us the right way. In, in Germany, uh, we say Kai-Fun. 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 And uh, in, in English, when, I, when when I'm speaking English, I say k fun k fun like, Maybe I have that from you. I don't know. Probably. But if I say, if I use kai fun in the video, it'll make me sound pretty cool. Though, yeah, it, sounds it will. Pretty, pretty darn cool. It's very Good. exotic. That's what I'm doing. kai fun <laughs> Thank you, Flo. <laughs> Thank you. Good having you. So uh, there you go, folks. A little bit from Flo and a little bit on the uh, the kai fun the kai fun Prime. Of course, there there is going to be a full Basardo on this one, okay? But uh, it, it just as soon as I can get to it, as soon as I can get to it. But um, you know, there are a couple th little thumbs down that I that I have with this one. But um, you're gonna have to wait for that video. As soon as I can get to it, we'll do it. Uh, and by the way, there's a little bit more uh, ball busting with Flo. If um, if you haven't seen Daniel uh, DJ LEDs. DJ DJ uh, LS DJ LSB's uh, video, uh, do check it out because uh, he does a little interview with uh, with me and Dimitri on a project that we're working on that we're very proud of uh, with Inikin. Okay, um, but at the end of that video, he starts rolling uh, video at a um, at a bar. We're at a bar. It's the last night in Paris. Um, and we're having some fun. We're hanging out. We're talking, and uh, there, there's there's some ball busting that's going on. And it, it's actually quite good. It's quite fun. Um, Daniel DJ LSB Vapes. Um, we had a chance uh, to talk with him, to hang out with him a little bit more than the the last time, last uh, year in Paris. Mark Todd w was nowhere to be found. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he was frightened. Maybe he was frightened of us. Uh, we actually did talk to uh, to Mark a little bit there. I don't think we grabbed any uh, photos or video with him this time. But um, always good to see. Mark, but um, Daniel. Uh, so, like I said, we did hang out with him a little bit. I did get to talk to him. Daniel, Daniel really pisses me off. He really does um, because he's got uh, he's got like all this really really cool camera equipment. I'm walking around with an old camcorder. It is time for me to update my equipment, even this camera as well. And I do have some plans. I have a stand for a new camera. But anyway, that that's beside the point. But um, and he's got he he did this video and there's like this really beautiful drone footage at the beginning of the video and uh he's got like this really great music and it's just it's just really well done it's really well done so uh, as an answer to that at the end of this video i am going to have some uh, breathtaking drone footage so but please do stick around for that we're also going to find out who won the last two nada contests uh in this video but i did talk to uh daniel a little bit he was hanging out at the um the yeehaw booth i think yeehaw brought him in uh, for the event, so let's uh, let's talk with Daniel a little bit. <laughs> Are you tired yet? Yeah, a little bit. What's the what's the time difference for you here? It's one hour. An hour? Yeah. Well, Portugal is one hour behind. That's nothing. No, it's not no. Nothing. Uh, my my clock is all screwed up. Yeah, I know. So what are you doing here at the uh, the Yeehaw booth? Well, explain it. I'm, helping I'm sure them. people want to know. Well, I'm helping them okay. because I always I always come to co to shows to conventions like these with different companies, of course, uh, but especially to these one because my wife is French right so my wife my wife is doing 
all the talking, and I'm just here. So your wife speaks French? Yeah. So now, do you speak French at all? No, I don't. So she could talk about you right in front of you, and she, right. you have no, no idea what no, she's no, saying? No. Oh, okay. No, no idea at all. <laughs> What's new here at uh, EI? Uh, well, they have like different colors, different combinations on the G-Class, like the camouflage I saw one, the camouflage one. And the yeah. gold, the gold finished the, the one. The gold one is beautiful. Yeah. 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 They also have like a fidget spinner thingy kind of type yeah, what's of up with that? coming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know. But but they have the MX class, which is that one's really cool. Yeah, it's just, yeah. the screen is popping on that really, one. Really nice. So talk about that one a little bit. Well, it's I feel like it's it's their response to the DNA 75C kind of. But oh man, with with a much much better screen. Yeah. So the screen is really really nice on that. Yeah. Much better screen, still just joystick operation, but pretty simple. Same same operation type as a G Class. Even though this one is showing zero because I think they actually gave me a dummy. But anyway, uh, simple, so, easy operation. So it's just a single the joystick yeah. and it's a push yeah. button joystick. Yeah. So, and this one has a micro US uh, micro USB uh, charger. So they they're not doing the C on this. No, huh? no. You know? I don't know why, but they. They had a couple of like comments, I guess, from people saying that using the device with a C, with a reversible C um, connector, for people that use the device constantly on the pocket in and out, it gets dirt inside because of all that open space. So I think I feel like they are kind of deciding on still on that phases, right. deciding on which connector they are going to stick with. But so this is going to be a, um, a 75 watt device, yeah. 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 75 watt device, single battery. Oh, that's cool the way it opens in the back. I, yeah. I thought it was on the bottom, but that's not. Nice. Single battery, joystick operated, still Bluetooth. And it has Bluetooth, so you can connect yeah. it with your phone and all and that. And still a menu, and, yeah, but yeah. the menu is pretty simple too. It's, it's all about easy of use with yeah. this one. Even though you have Bluetooth and you have all the capabilities of their app, to go a little bit beyond on the settings. Do you know what their price point is going to be on that? Uh, they they don't have they they didn't decide on the price yet, but of course cheaper than the G class. Sure. And I guess around the 180s, 170s. Yeah. But that's just me guessing. Uh, but they, they didn't announce the price yet. Okay. Really nice piece. So uh, what? How do you feel about the um, Anger Rabbit Cotton? Oh my God. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> How are you finding the show so far? Uh, fine, fine. Pretty much the same as the last show yeah. last year here in Paris. A lot of people on a very small place. That, that's, that's yeah, what I, yeah. That's well, what I, I feel like there's more vendors this year. Yeah. A little bit. The, like the halls. Yeah. Are, yeah. The walkways are a little bit smaller. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Have you seen any of the other uh, reviewers? I seen Todd. Hi, hi I, guys. Todd here. I can't find Todd. No. no. I seen here like in the morning, like at, at 10 a.m. and then I never seen him before. Well, I think he's hiding from me because Probably. of what happened the last. <laughs> What happened in the last time? Well, like, we kind of we, we 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 kidnapped him. We brought him to our uh, room, and yeah. yeah, we had a really kind of an oh, awkward. Oh, I seen that on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, it was a lot of Facebook fun though. Life. I'm kind of, of afraid of that. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it might happen to you too. Oh Who knows? my god! And then there, of course, there's uh, Patrick. Uh, hello, Patrick. Are you hello. filming? Are you filming me filming you? Yes. Oh. How's the show working out for you so far? Uh, sorry for my English. Yeah. Yeah. Is the show good? Yes, very good. Very, very happy with everything. Yes, a lot of people come. For me, it's a lot of very nice show yeah. as always. Yeah. Bullish of you. <laughs> Lots of luck with everything. Thank you. All right. Well, you know, it, it, this has always been a really, really good show. Yeah. Um, I like the people it's here. Beautiful. I like the talks that the, they do. I like the way yeah. they do the talks. Yeah. No, I think they do this show really, really well. Yeah. And they do it really and, well. And, and a lot of the shows, you know, some of them are good, some of them are bad. I try to stick with the good ones yeah. myself. Yeah. 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 Me too. Yep. That's that's what I try to do. And I heard that they are going to do it in Barcelona. Too. Very cool. So the, the Spanish shows were, were kind of weak yep. on the, the, the amount of vendors and the, the amount of people. Not the organizers from this one kind, kind of took over the Spanish show. So that's probably going to be another good one. Got it. But it's just, 
I don't have time for that shit. Did you see anything really cool that you liked here at this one? No, I didn't get to see anything. You don't get to see yet. anything, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah you're kind of... Well, I got to see something from you, uh, which <laughs> I hope we, we discuss a little bit more about it. Later. We will, we will. Yeah. It's exciting for me, it's exciting for, you know, for me and Dimitri, uh, that that project. Uh, finally, you're gonna have, you know, my name on some hardware that's never happened before. But I mean, hey, every other reviewer's doing it, I might as well too. How's your atomizer doing for you? Uh, it's, it's doing well. Yeah? So, yeah. Terrific. Yeah. I think, I feel like there's still a lot of people that enjoy single coil RDAs and mm -hmm. that's probably why single coil RDAs these days are coming more and more and more. Uh, but, well, it's my project, my idea and I, I, I was really passionate about the whole process, right. even though kind of a, a nightmare to go through that process with yeah. China to get it done. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sick. Yeah, and that of course is the uh, the aura, right? The yeah, aura yeah. And with Geek Vape. There it is. There it is. On top of the Therion, that is not even an, an EHE mod. Yeah, are so. you allowed to have that mod here, back here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't give a crap. <laughs> I don't belong to them, basically. All right, brother. Well, I'm helping them. Enjoy the rest of the show. Lots of luck with everything that you got yeah, going on, and keep uh, keep those tech reviews coming Thank because you. I don't get a, a lot of uh, opportunity to make the reviews uh, that much anymore. Yeah. So I just send everybody to you. <laughs> so don't, so don't f up, okay? <laughs> but your version of the tech reviews is still still better, I guess. You, you have some comedy to it, and I have a really really good persona. Well, I appreciate um, that. Yeah. Thank you very much. We need you too. All right. Thanks, brother. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was great talking to Daniel. It was it was even better just hanging out with him outside of the the world of vape. And and there might be there might be another little uh, bromance uh, brewing there because uh, Daniel is is a tech geek much like I am, right? So when we get together, um, we don't necessarily talk just about vaping. We talk about um, things like quadcopters and uh, home automation and uh, like cameras and 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 resolution. It's uh, he he feeds my my tech heart. Uh, Dimitri might feed my heart in other ways. <laughs> God, that sounded terrible. Um, but 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 Daniel really does uh, feed my tech heart. And um, there is this photo uh, which is absolutely adorable that I, I think Dimitri is really really bothered by. Uh, and that is this photo right here. So yeah, I had a really good time uh, talking with and hanging out with Daniel and getting to know him and his wife uh, a little bit better this time. Now in that video section, you did uh, see Patrick. Okay, uh, we're gonna hear more from Patrick a little bit later on. Patrick is the guy who puts on VOP Expo and does a fantastic job with it. Uh, and Daniel also mentioned that uh, it was very well attended and it was. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is uh, day one uh, and the line uh, on day one in the, uh, in the morning and it was uh, very, very well attended. And I found it very interesting because they only had one day of um, consumer. And then the second day was just B2B. And Dimitri and I kept saying to each other, well, we'll just shoot all the video on the second day because it won't be that busy. It, it's going to be B2B. Day two was just as busy uh, with it being a B2B as day one was and that's always really really good to see and i did hear that from a lot of the uh, the vendors the vendors telling me that um business was really good really good at this show uh daniel and i also talked about the uh, the new mx class the yehi mx class uh, here it is right here um the screen on this is gorgeous okay i'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and it's just it's so bright it's so vivid uh, the resolution is fantastic on it. Um, my only complaint is when you go into the menu, they, they need to figure out a better way to do the menu because without cheaters, without glasses, I can't see. The, the, the lettering and the words are so, so tiny on it. Uh, maybe they can go to icons as opposed to where I don't know, but uh, I do have one. Uh, there, there will be a review eventually, eventually. Um, so I mean, just the, the look and the feel of the Yee High products, uh, re really good, really, really solid. Uh, I like that they went to a removable back like this now to uh, to get the battery in and out. Um, my only other little issue is that the um, the the surface at which it sits on. Uh, the device actually becomes a little bit wobbly, a little bit wobbly. So I know this is a prototype. This isn't a, a final edition of it, but um, who knows? Maybe they'll change things. But uh, really, really good screen on this one. It does variable wattage. It does temperature control. It's a single 18650 uh, device that goes up to 75 watts. It's got um, Bluetooth, it's software controllable, uh, all the bells and whistles uh, in this one right here, the uh, the new MX Class from Yeehaw. Now, the Modders Gallery... Um, it wasn't downstairs like it was uh, the previous year, last year. It was uh, upstairs in one of the balconies. There's actually two big balconies on either side 
of the event. Uh, a little bit warmer up there, but uh, very, very well attended. There were a lot of people up there. Um, and I really didn't do a whole lot of interviews uh, at the Modders Gallery. We brought a lot uh, of that to you at the, uh, the Germany show. But um, I, I tell you what, the most popular mod up there, the Frankenskull, uh, I could, I r literally couldn't get near the booth. Uh, there were so many people there, uh, and it actually got a little bit rowdy uh, there at one point. I think security had to be called because there were so many people in such a tight space trying to get a very limited number of devices that it got a little bit rowdy. Although I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time up there, uh, I, I did the, uh, the the box mods, the uh, the hand carved box mods from Titan. I did catch my eye. Uh, I, I'll never forget. Like this is this is going on years ago. The first time I pressed a titanide uh, fire switch. Uh, it, it's an experience, folks. It really is. There, There is a smoothness and an action uh, to this switch that is absolutely unbelievable. And uh, just some of their hand-carved uh, box mods really did catch my eye, so I wanted to share some of those uh, with you in this video clip right here. And these are not cheap, folks. I believe the way this works is you buy the box, and I think they have DNA 75s in them, uh, between 490 and 590 euro and then you can buy the hand carved panels for around 290 euro so uh you know those of you who are in the market for the uh, the finer things and the more rare things uh, this might be right up your alley and of course titanite is a company based in france now one of the devices that i really like is the droid okay and iman iman makes the droid and i saw iman up there in the uh, the modders gallery and i kind of stuck the uh, the camera in his face because he's got a couple of new droids and i wanted him to talk about them so this is uh, iman from droid you just showed me something that's really cool and i didn't think it was open but it is open well that's the black one right i've actually been uh, making these for a couple of months now and uh, we've got black ultim with a with a silver anodized aluminium body and it's a it's a monoblock frame so it's actually all one piece okay okay and that's ultra material on that that's huh? ultim that's unbelievable I, I thought it was metal when I first saw it I thought it was metal yeah it's strange because it actually technically it's supposed to be exactly the same as the natural the amber ultim but I found when working with the material it's subtly different and interestingly enough I actually prefer working with this uh, the, the black ultim I won't go into the details but, I mean, it's got the same properties in terms of um, like heat resistance, chemical resistance. Um, it's very robust. Um, but yeah, we've got that. We've got also black hole ten with uh, black frame. Black frame. This is unbelievably light. Yeah. Unbelievably light. Yeah. How's the scratch resistance on Ultim? Well, it's it's going to scratch if you put it in your pocket with keys and coins. Okay. Well, most kind of metal thing. devices will anyway, right? Well, exactly. So, um, but the, the key thing is that you can use this without a case, you can carry it with you every day, and it's, it's not going to look really bad after a few months. You know? This one I've been using actually for a few months, and you could, if you see it in, in the light, if you look very carefully, you will see some surface scratches, but still, it, I think it looks really good. And then you have a kind of a see-through one there too? Yeah, this is uh, actually, I'm showing this for the first time today. Okay. And this is uh, polycarbonate. Polycarbonate. Yeah. And I'm sh uh, this is the new tank from Otis. It's called the Tanko. And I think they, they look perfect. Yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> so, and when you, you fired it before, you could actually see the LED behind there. Okay. Yeah. How's the, um, how's the DNA 75C working out for you? I think it's great. I think the option to be able to personalize it, to, to do the interface, uh, I love it. In terms of performance, it's evolved. You know, I, right. uh, I've worked with them, and I think that the, those guys, uh, some of the smartest guys in this entire industry, and they're very—they take very seriously what they do. So Absolutely. For me, uh, as a modder, it's important to be able to work with people that you trust that they're coming from the right place, and, right. and they've got all the right um, kind of motivations for what they do. So. Right. Right. It's been a pleasure working with this. With this so, jet. if people are interested in these, where can uh, where can they find you and them? So. 
First point of contact has got to be my Facebook group. Um, because I work alone, it's it's very difficult for me to take communications from lots of different places, you know, Instagram, my website, and everything else. So in the group, it just makes it easier for me to communicate with everyone. When we've got a list, when we've got a sale, uh, I can point everyone in the right direction. Okay. So, you have a website too? I do. It's uh, vapedroid.com. Right. At the moment, I'm only um, making it live when we have a list or a sale. Okay. Um, but probably beginning of, of October, I'm going to open up the website so there will be okay. ongoing sales. All right, cool. And what are the, what's the estimated price of these? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred fifty for the month. Yeah, for the month. Okay. Well, it's good to see you. Pleasure. And and I wish you the best of luck. With Thank you, you for uh, pointing a camera in my face. I'm kind of uh, I'm a bit shy, so. You did great. You did great. Thanks, brother. All right. Is it just me, or is it like anybody who uses the term or says it this way, aluminium? Um, make me sound not so smart. Um, good job, Iman. Uh, I wish you the best of luck with the uh, the new vape droids. So, uh, so here's the deal. Uh, I have a lot more interviews that that will probably take this video uh, well over the uh, the one hour mark. I got interviews uh, from Emio on his new atomizer. Uh, my friend from Skyline who has his drop kits for uh, for his for his atomizer. Uh, a couple liquid manufacturers. So maybe I'll bring these interviews uh, to you in future videos because I need to uh, do some funny stuff in this video and uh, find out who the last two uh, Not A Contest winners uh, were or are. And um, and then like get ready for that uh, Valve trip uh, tomorrow, okay? Uh, and a couple other things that I got to do tonight as well. So um, let's hold off on on the rest of the uh, the the material or the footage that I got from uh, from Paris, and, and I'll bring that to you in future videos. But right now, uh, let's have a little bit of fun. Look at Dimitri, professional photographer. Look at him. Look at that. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Work it. Work it. Now, the, uh, the, I don't know if that's a new camera or what he's doing, because I've never seen him with a big camera like that before. Um, and he took two pictures, two pictures of me and Vasily from uh, from Skyline. That 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 uh, interview will be in a future video. And these are the two pictures. This picture right here and this picture right here. So clearly, uh, he does need a little bit more work with that uh, that camera. Oh, no. Let's say I had 14 monkeys and two monkeys left to get a little freaky deaky. How many monkeys are left? Obviously, 12 monkeys. 12 yes. monkeys! <laughs> All right, so one more little piece of funniness here. Uh, I don't know if you know this, okay, but um, Lonnie Bozeman and, and Jeff Donahue, they're, they're, they're trying to recreate the, the Dimitri and Phil bromance. Um, it's really... It's really kind of sad. It's really, it's really kind of sad. They're uh, they're taking our um, our uh, photoshops uh, and just like putting their faces on our photoshops, and they got this bromance. It's it's really sad. It's like a um, it's like a a, a a leaky clone of the original. It really is. Um, but but uh, Jeff uh, was there at the uh, Vop Expo, and he um he won an award for his liquid. Uh, so um. We, we, of course, congratulated him. Very proud, you know, being a U.S. liquid manufacturer, winning an award there in, in France. And uh, we had our own uh, little special awards for, uh, for Jeff. Uh, so uh, we heard we heard that you won an award yesterday, so we want to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, 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 let me yeah. get the award. Let's get the award. Sure, sure, let's get the award. Let's get the award. By the way, can I ask you what kind of drugs did he use to uh, to date you? Because uh, I don't know yeah, what we do. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Wow, looks like a Grammy. That is we took, amazing. We took third place in the fruits. We were the only only American company to actually win an award. It was for our flavor dope. I want to clarify what dope means because I know you guys are really old, so I just want to explain dope sure, is like sure. slang. Wikipedia, it's yeah. slang. You can wiki it. You know, it's yeah. something cool, something hip. Cool. Right. Yeah. Well, so it's not really yeah. dope. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. That's dope. Like, we want to clarify. That's dope. Exactly. I got that. You're a little bit older than me. You guys write it down? Yeah, yeah, we did. We got it. Well, we have a little surprise for you as well, too. So if you go around that way, please, Jeff, just go. You know what, that way? Where's the entrance over here? I am not. 
So we got a little surprise here. We just wanted to, we just wanted to. Uh, you know, in addition to your award there, because we know you won the award, we're very proud of you being from America. Okay. So we have a couple of awards for you as well. Okay. We have this uh, this very limited edition Taste Your Juice vape band right there, right there. By the way, um, Taste Your Juice. By the way, I just want to add to that. That is actually a life size sexual ring from Lonnie Bozeman. Oh, yes, look at, look at, actual, look at actual life size. Yes, yes. yes. And even more limited edition. I'm gonna. I only have a couple of these left. All right. I'm gonna give you one. Okay. Can I share it with Katie? This, well, of course. Okay. So this is an official Taste Your Juice mouthpiece. We got a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece. Okay. So when Lonnie's not in your mouth, I can be. Oh, oh that's, that's sweet. Very good. Very good. Lonnie, I hope you're watching this. We have our work cut out for us. Yeah, please. <laughs> Is that a tear that I'm seeing? Oh, okay, you're right. Let's wipe it down. Does anyone have a tissue? Anyone have a tissue? Oh, hey, Jeff, it. tell everybody where they can get information on your product. ElysianLabs.com. E L Y S I A N L A B S dot C O. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank, thank you, Phil. You. And obviously, thank you. Thank you. So, Inikin was there. We hung out at the uh, the Inikin booth a lot. Obviously, we are going to be working with uh, Inikin to uh, release some tanks and some additional products. Uh, they launched a new product. Uh, it had champagne and all kinds of cool stuff uh, called the uh, the Lift. Uh, here is the packaging for the Lift. And it's a neat idea. Uh, the idea here is to take any rebuildable dripping atomizer that has bottom feed capabilities and turn it from a rebuildable dripping atomizer into a rebuildable dripping tank atomizer. And Dimitri is going to tell you more about the, uh, the lift. Dimi. Hey, hey, what's up? Phil? Are we tired? This is like day two. Very, very tired. Day two. <laughs> uh, the event's almost over with, but uh, we're here at the Anakin booth. Anakin, and, hold on, let me uh, do that, yeah, let me do yeah, that, yeah. let me do that. All right, back And, to you. Uh, and uh, this is definitely not the style of vaping that I use, but I wanted to show you something that's uh, pretty it's unique. Cool. Uh, a lot of technology uh, that has been revolved around squonking this year. Who would have thought squonking would have made a comeback? Uh, remember the real? I that was, was in 2011, <laughs> wasn't it, right? Uh, but now the all the, the craze is squonking. Is squonking. Yep. So, um, seeing what's going on in the market, I think Anakin had an idea of how to use a bottom feeding RDA without actually having a squonk box. So what do you make squonking easier when you don't, you don't have to squonk, right? right? <laughs> so that's the idea behind this lift technology. It is basically a four and a half meal capacity tank. I think there's gonna be a two meal EU version as well too. Yeah. Where you can use any bottom feeding RDA, simply fill your tank up and screw it, and it uses a suction pressure system inside. I'm not quite sure, they won't tell us, it's all top secret. Right. It actually lifts the liquid up to the RDA as you're vaping. So it basically uses your your suction. Yes, the, yes, The act yes. of you sucking. The act of you sucking, to pull the absolutely. liquid up into the bottom of that atomizer. Right, so you fill uh, the tank up to the top, then you take your uh, bottom feeding RDA and you screw it on top. And a lot of the thinking here, of course, is if you want to take your favorite RDA with a bottom feeding pin, you don't want to use it on a squonk, or, or you simply just don't want to squonk, it turns into a tank system. Uh, this is a pretty low build, 0.14, set at 75 watts, and um, it works as advertised. See me blowing clouds. Right there? So I mean, it, it's it's pretty cool in that it, if you have a bottom feeding atomizer, it turns an RDA into an RDPA. That's the idea here. You know, if I didn't use it, and me and you used it the other night, we, we actually went down three, four times to refill this, and we saw the liquid actually coming down, and we had to refill it. Right. Kept the wicks uh, wet through the entire process. I thought it was really, really unique, and people would like to, to take a look at it. Right. And this is a prototype, right? This is a prototype. Um, Another little unique thing that goes along with it is this little cap. So let's say you want to have a couple of flavors carrying with them. This can, can actually turn into a tank carrier system. You put your liquid inside there, put the little tank, uh, cap on and put it inside your pocket. If you want to change your flavors, you know, midday, mid that's something we'll do. Just take off the bottom tank, screw this on, and then put your atomizer Start on there. Up the new ready liquid, to go. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. I want you to vape it as well too. I can't I'm gonna vape it. it. I figured, you know, by the fourth, fifth puff, just like you used to with an RDA, it's gonna dry up, right. but it really doesn't. Actually, when you're vaping it, you can actually see the bubbles too in the tank. I thought you were paying attention to my actual. No, I was looking. At, no, I was looking at the bubbles. So here, here you try it. I'm gonna try it. And there's a, there's an adjustment on here too because go ahead. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh I feel Shotgun. the sound of DNA. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's really cool. It's it really, cool. really is cool. Uh, the first thing, of course, the engineer brain of Phil Busardo said, <laughs> well, what happens with different viscosity liquids, which is absolutely true in a, a variety of market that we have now. They have put an adjustment ring on here with three holes. Obviously, the biggest hole is going to create more suction, so your heavy VG liquids will be able to feed easier. If you have a thinner liquid, you can cut it down to the smaller or even to the smaller hole as well to kind of balance the way that your liquid goes up and down. This is 70% VG liquid. We have it right there in the center hole, and we have no issues with it feeding at all. You can actually see the liquid has already come down after filling at the beginning. Right. That's pretty neat. So it is pretty cool. You know, it's it's funny because Inikin is known for beginner devices and starter devices, but they're also looking at the other market as well too and how they can enhance our vaping. And there's another little cool accessory that's out there. Pretty cool. Thanks, Demi. Patrick. Yes. Another year down. Yes. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm going to go try to go slow. So yes. if you need to jump in there and translate, okay? okay. But another fantastic show, and thank you very much for having us back. Encore une exposition à fini. Et vraiment merci beaucoup encore une fois pour nous avoir ici. Uh, merci, thank you so much for yeah, being here in the meeting. And uh, it's a, I'm proud to be here each time. We're proud to come back uh, for, for this event. We think it's one of the best events that, that we've been to. Um, what are the challenges? What are some of the challenges in putting together an, an event uh, you know, of this size? What are the challenges of organizing a salon like that? To satisfy everyone and to make everyone find a place. To satisfy everyone and so that everybody finds uh, a space, a stand. Oh, you can't satisfy everybody. You can only try. You can only try. You're always going to be the bad guy to somebody. Right? <laughs> yes, yes. Right. So, how many people were, were attended the event this year? Um, probably around 10,000, but we haven't yet got the the official. Do you have the official yeah. number yet? Yeah, but you're guessing so in two days. In two days. Okay. Now the first day was it for, oh, for the public, and then yeah. today was oh, just B two B. Yes. It, because I mean, Dimitri and I talked, and we thought today was going to be slow, uh -huh. and it was just as busy as yesterday. Yes. <laughs> and that was one of the things that we heard a lot from the uh, the vendors was that they did a lot of business, right? I mean, would you agree? Is that absolutely, you absolutely, too, right? yes, yes, yes. So it, it was really surprising to have a difficult time walking on a B two B day. That <laughs> yeah, never happens. That in never the US. happens in the U S. <laughs> right. So I mean, congratulations on that. Yeah. So um, I heard that you have plans of bringing this event to another location is that is that true yeah we we make uh, another one in uh, Barcelona in the uh, middle of October it's the 14 15 uh, October 14th and 15th of October yeah. in Barcelona, in Barcelona. That, that's yes. true it's a new experience it's a new experience yes <laughs> it's a new experience because uh, the, the market in Spain is going up very fast and we want to make a very good very good uh, event uh, for uh, the vapors of the Spanish vapors. Right. Mm. So you've been involved with this event from the start, from the, the, the very first one, correct? Donc, uh, depuis uh, tout le début, uh, le premier Vap Expo, uh, vous êtes uh, inclus, vous êtes dedans. Oui. It's my, yes. it's my baby. It's your baby? <laughs> yes, it's my baby. How have you seen the event change from the first one to this one? The debitors become more professional. More professional, yes, yeah. because you know, for the first time in the first Vapis in Bordeaux, um, the, the booth is very, you know, it's a uh, cheap booth. Cheap booth, okay, okay, so, okay. right. And now it's, uh, you can see the, the big booth on the second floor, you know, right. And uh, it's more professional, and it's, it's um, with uh, more formation, more information, and uh, uh, more, they can educate all the, your, the, the wholesaler, you know, it's very important. Okay. So what are your what are your hopes for the show in the future and what are your hopes for vaping in the future? Toujours donner toujours donner une très bonne image de la vape en France en Europe. To keep giving a very positive image about uh, vaping in France and also in Europe. Good. I like that answer. Well, you have a very positive image. I mean, the man has a very positive image. Do you have any questions for Patrick? Uh, uh, as long as they keep inviting us, we're going to keep coming out because we always have a great time and it's uh, it's always a very well-run event. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, Patrick, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations you. on another thank fantastic you. show. Thank you, thank you for much. doing the translation. <laughs> and I wish thank you the best of luck in Barcelona. Yes. And the next spot. Thank you. All thank right. You thank much. you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's why I skinny dipped last night, too, by the way. I was not that. By the way, that's 
also how they make. Uh, you're gonna fall off the stairs. No, right? no, no. I got that. That's also. This is uh, juice mixing. In uh, yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah. There you go. That's not true. It's all VG. It's absolutely not true. So uh, VOP Expo 2017, 2017, that is this year, right? Okay, comes to an end. Uh, it was another really good show, Dimi. You know, I, I think we're seeing a little bit of creeping of some of those labels that we don't want to see, you know, get into this show. I'll be able to talk with uh, Patrick about that. Yeah, he's definitely kind of on top of it and, and wants to eliminate that. But I mean, as far as the show is concerned, it's still a little bit different from the US shows. Uh, I see a wider, wider variety of people there. I see a wide variety of devices there, both mouth and lung, both direct lung, um, a, a huge amount of, uh, of hardware, which we don't also get a lot of in, in the States. And of course, about a bazillion e-liquid companies. Right? Let me ask you something, Phil. Ask me something. If, if, a, if a smoker came into this event, yes, which is one of the largest in Europe, yes. right? If a sm would you find something in there to get them started with vaping? I think that is a question that I always wonder when I go to some of the other events. I think there were a few pieces in there. I mean, I, I, there were a lot of um, stick type devices, a lot of smaller type devices. Um, you know, Inikin had some product there. Kanger had some uh, new product there. Um, definitely uh, kits and, and devices more geared towards uh, smokers and beginners. Yeah, that's very, very important for the people back home that are listening to this or that are putting the events to always keep that in mind. Nothing wrong with the marketing and having all the newest and the greatest and the hype juice and the hype you know, open airflow gear, but always yeah, remember. Didn't you want to go on camera too? Are you going to do all your monologue from behind the camera? Yeah, well, I mean, you look so good right now. I don't want to ruin the shot. I mean, you really do. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that, that. That we had at least, if somebody came in, we could have taken them to a booth and given them a product to get started with vaping. There were some uh, really good conferences there, uh, some really good speakers, uh, just a really, really well-run uh, event. And I heard they're bringing this event to uh, Spain now. Right. Right. So uh, maybe we'll get invited to that. Who knows? But I wish them a lot of luck. I wish them a lot of luck, and I wish them continued success with this event. Fantastic. So now, now uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch. Yes. And let's uh, switch. we'll get uh, Dimitri's last thoughts on uh, Bob Expo 2017. Okay. Oh my God! Are you are you posing? Oh, hey, are you posing? No, I was just admiring uh, the. Uh, you've changed. Weapon. You've changed since you've lost all that weight a little bit. I think. I no. mean, changed physically, but I think mentally. mentally I think you're more mental than you were before. It's going to be the Dimitri that you've come to grown and love. Yeah. And uh, developed our friendship and our bromance over the years. <laughs> so absolutely, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, always have a great time. This is the third show that I've done here in Paris, and I think it's the third show for you as well. And uh, one thing that maintain, that I maintain is different from the U.S., the professionalism, number one, and the fact that you can actually walk through there, well, with the exception of a couple of labels that we saw on this time, and feel comfortable, right? Uh, I think that the organizer, uh, I want people back home to know that we, when we see it, we bring it up. We're not shy and we're not going to shy away from raising an issue when we see it. And we did go to the organizers. I think they were a little bit blindsided as well from these companies. Sometimes they'll bring product inside that uh, normally they wouldn't bring in simply because it's the newest and the greatest. And I think that's what happened in this case. But seeing his response that he wants to take care of this issue yeah. was very... Um, eye-opening because back in the States when we raise these issues you hear the organizers yeah we're gonna vet it we're gonna do it and it ends up being the same show all the time so kudos to Patrick and all of his team and uh, just a very well-run event all the people very nice very hospitable and uh, as long as they keep inviting us we're gonna keep on coming absolutely uh, we did test some liquid while we were there it was kind of heartbreaking not to have it in a higher milligram strength um, so we're seeing a little bit of that creep inside here as well too. Some of the more gourmet flavors that are out there in the Tamiya bottles, they had them in higher nicotine strengths. But we did go to a couple of booths that we tried some stuff that we really liked. 036, and that seems to be the trend. We need to get out of that mindset. We need to have these available for everybody to enjoy. And that's what I got. That is what I got for uh, for this video for Vop Expo 2017. Uh, I, actually, I have more. I have more, and I'll try to bring that to you in future videos. Uh, if I put a camera in your face and I recorded you and you did not find yourself in this video, I do apologize. But like I said, future videos, okay? All right, now on to the Not a Contest Wieners.
Okay, so for the first naughty contest, what was up for grabs? Uh, speaking of naughty contest, uh, the uh, the Cthulhu, not a, uh, a mouth to lung RDA, maybe a very good uh, RDA for uh, direct lung or for restricted, uh, but certainly not for mouth to lung. But you might like this one, okay? So there's that. We have the uh, the OBS Cheetah Two RDA coming your way. We've got the Lush Q Two uh, Charger from Efest coming your way, and the Vupu Alpha One coming your way if you knew the uh, the screen scene that's what we did for this contest or the not a contest it was a screen scene and you had to let me know uh what this scene what movie this scene came from and it was of course wall street wall street and i tell you what back in the day if you had that phone you were you were the sh uh, that was that was the phone to have uh, right after the bag phones came out that phone came out and then after that it was the star tech and i'm totally dating myself right now um all right so anyway uh that was the contest uh, let's give it away give it away give it away now all right guys here we are in random.org just like we always do this is a list randomizer for this uh particular naughty contest uh 207 of you got the answer correct and entered the correct way let's find out who won good luck everybody the wiener is dennis Swa oh dennis seriously Oh, that's, that's really cool. If that's the Dennis I think it is, uh, congratulations, Dennis. You got the uh, the prize pack. I know Dennis, and it's very rarely uh, somebody I know who wins these contests. So congratulations, Dennis. Uh, you're the big wiener for this naughty contest. All right, so for the uh, the next naughty contest, what was up for grabs? The uh, the Inikin Easy Watt, okay? A great uh, device uh, or kit for a beginning vapor or transitioning smoker. So please, if you have like every vaping device on the planet, okay, uh, make a friend, convert a smoker. Okay, um, so uh, it was a uh, name that tune. The tune was this. And of course, well, not of course, uh, not many people got that one right. Uh, it was Sandstorm, Sandstorm by Darude. Uh, one of my favorite songs back from my club days. Um, let's. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. All right, so here we are back in random.org for this contest. 96 of you got the answer right and entered the correct way. Let's find out who won this one. Good luck, everybody. The wiener is... John Gildry, John Gildry, congratulations. You won yourself the Inikin Easy Watt. So congratulations to you over there, John, and uh, you over there, Dennis. You are the big wieners tonight. You guys know what you got to do. Get an email to me at pbasardo at tasteyourjuice.com using the same email that you entered the contest in so I can verify who you are. I will get some information from you and get these out into the mail just as soon as I can, which won't be that soon uh, because of what I got going on. So um, as soon as I can. And uh, Ken, Ken Schaefer, if you are watching uh, this video, I apologize. Um, I did not forget you. Actually, I did forget Ken. Uh, he, he won a, a Vaporesso uh, Revenger, and I uh, totally forgot to mail this to you. So, Ken, uh, I know, and it is coming your way, okay? And and I don't know. I don't know where I got Gildry from, because there's no L in there. But Like I said, I'm exhausted, and my mind just put an L in there, and I called you Gildry. Maybe it's Gidry, uh, or Gidry, or something. John, you won. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, that is the end of this video. I hope you found some of the information uh, helpful, interesting, entertaining, fun. Um, any of those things will work. And that's it. That's it. Uh, as promised, some breathtaking drone footage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Can I taste your juice?